What is up everybody, it's Napalm McAcid. Today I'm gonna to be checking out this Zozam V7 right here. This is a Bluetooth speaker and you can pick this up on Amazon right now for 26 bucks. They also do have a $4 off coupon code right now and any other coupon codes, be sure to check the description down below if you wanna check any out. So here's the box right here. As I said before, it is about 26 bucks. So pretty affordable price. It's a 16 watt speaker, so it claims so if that's true, that's actually really good. You can see up there at the top, we got an IPX6 water resistant rating. Not the best rating, but it's a water resistance, not a protection, but it's better than nothing. You can use it in the shower and stuff, I'm sure just fine. Here's the back right here. Hi-Fi, two eight watt speakers, micro SD card, aux in, hands-free, 2200 milliamp hour battery, true wireless speakers, energy saving auto sleep mode. Also does not mention it here, but it does also have hands-free calling. So I guess that means it has a built-in microphone and we'll be checking that out. So let's go ahead and grab a knife over here. And let's go ahead and open it up. The speaker does claim to have very deep bass. So that's that'd be very nice to see if it does. Actually a pretty good bass and it does claim 18 hours of play time. Uh, I'm not quite sure about that, but that'd be very, very nice if that's true. So here's the speaker right here. You can see it. In all its glory, there's a Zozam logo on the front. Very glossy, very black. I like it. There's the buttons on the top there. We'll be going into all those. You also have a little, little clip here. And the back here, you have some ports. Let's see what else is in this box here. So first thing up here is a little user manual. Not the best one, but it tells you what some of the stuff does right there. I'll be going over that too, so we'll put that aside. And we have a rectangular carabiner clip right here. Clip that onto the little red clip right there. Hang this on whatever you need. You have a headphone 3.5 millimeter uh, cable to cable here. So you can hook this up if your phone still has a headphone jack that is. Mine does not. And we have a micro, S micro USB cable. I always say micro SD, but that's a very different thing. And there it is, looks to be about maybe three feet or so, could be a little shorter. But yep, you get everything you need right here in the box. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check this out and see what these buttons do and give it a play. All right guys, so here it is right here. We're gonna be going through all the buttons here. So obviously the first one right here is the power on and off button. It's also the restart button. We have this M right here. The M button is a mode switch. Um, it can also do it to answer and reject calls, so, but you will be using that mostly for uh, switching between like Bluetooth, aux, um, micro SD card, stuff like that. Here you have a pause and a play button. Pause, play button, not much else to say about that. Right here you have a minus button. If you short press it, um, it'll go to the previous track. And if you long press it, you will be turning down the volume. Same with the plus one right here. If you just uh, quick press it, it'll go to the next song you're playing. Or if you long press it, hold it down, it'll turn the sound volume up. So it's a dual purpose button there. And last you have a button right here. And that button is a uh, wireless stereo, true wireless stereo. So I guess that changes the quality of the music or sound some little bit. And here's the back. Let's go ahead and look at these ports again right here. Okay, so here's the back right here, the way you're supposed to be looking at it. From the far left to the right, you have the micro SD slot in, aux in, DC power in, and a charging light indicator that is not a microphone. So let's go ahead and close that up. You can see the rubber feet here on the bottom and it says it's got a microphone so I'm just going to trust that it's in there somewhere. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and slide over to our computer over here and we're going to connect it to the Bluetooth. So very easy as you see here. You see Zozam right there. We're just going to press connect. And as you see up here at the top, we are connected and the speaker just beeped to allow us to know that it worked. So once it's connected, the blue light no longer blinks and it's just blue. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect it to some music and we'll give it a listen. All right, so here it is. We're gonna be playing a no copyright songs release right here. This is uh, called Rivals Walls and it also has Brian Finley in it. So we'll have that link down below if you wanna give that song a listen. So here we go. So right now I have it on about half volume, or about a third. 
Let's go ahead and go to about half. Vibrating in the hands some. Let's go ahead and go to three quarters. Volume real quick here. Go ahead and turn the music off there for a second. Full volume, just a few seconds here. All right, so I know that's really loud. I'll probably change that in post editing, but. Um, from my personal observations here, this is a very, very loud speaker. I do believe it's probably 16 watts or so, like it claims, based on how it's vibrating in my hand. The bass aspect of it does appear to be true. But so far, everything seems great, especially considering you can pick this up for literally $26. That's just, that's insane what you get for that price. So now let's go ahead and press this button here and continue on listening, see if we notice anything. All right, actually go ahead and ignore that. What the true wireless stereo actually does is it's not a feature, it's a secondary Bluetooth connection mechanism of some sort. So it'll allow you to connect multiple Bluetooth speakers together to get that sound all around your room. Um, we're not gonna be testing that. I'm sure it does work and you can combine this to create a stereo experience by linking all of these Bluetooth speakers through that feature. So that's very nice to have, especially for the price. So there you go, guys. This is the Zozam V7. It will be linked down below if you want to purchase it. Currently, it's 26 bucks. There is a $4 off coupon code. There might be some other ones down below if you want to check it out. But it's a very cool speaker. It's a very cool style. It's like an oval or like a, yeah, it's just like a big, long sort of brick here, sort of rounded. Very nice uh, form factor. Very small, honestly. It's sort of plastic. It's got a metal grill on the front, sort of a matte black on the side very good quality honestly i like that it has a carabiner included as well as this little hanging thing right here this loop so uh honestly i do recommend the sound quality is very good the bass is next level especially considering the price it's not like a beats pill but come on 20 22 bucks basically so uh there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching